All right, all right, all right. How are y'all today? Now, let me tell you, I know that it's really hot in here, but you're just going to have to get over it, okay? It's cold. Are you cold, Miss Pat? She said no. That's what she said. All right. Come on. Who did I ask to pray this week? Oh, there he is. All right, everybody, bow your heads. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and all that you've given us. And please heal the sick and poor. And thank you for making the revolutionary war, because if not, we would not be our own country. In just name it, pray. Amen. Somebody's learned something this week. It's about time. All right, y'all stand up. All right, guys, so we learned a new chorus last week, so we're going to try to sing it, okay? And when you speak, a hundred billion galaxies are born. In the vapor of your breath, the planets form. If the stars, if the stars were made to worship, so will I. I can see your face in everything you made. Every burning star, a signal fire of grace. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. All right. By yourself, that's time. Here you go. And when you... What? If the stars were made to worship, so will I. I can see your face. I can see your face in everything you made. Every burning star, a signal fire of grace. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. I believe you are all I need. I believe you're my portion. I believe. You're more than enough for me. Jesus, you're all I need. Here we go. Nothing is impossible for you. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Hold my world in your hands. Nothing is impossible for you. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible for you. You hold my world in your hands. I believe I believe you're my portion. I believe you're more than enough 
for me Jesus you're all I need Amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me I once was lost but now I'm found was blind but now I see my chains are gone my chains are My God, my good. Then sings my soul, my Savior God. How great Thou art! How great Thou art! Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. And I believe you're my healer. I believe you are all I need. And I believe you're my portion. I believe you're more than enough for me. Jesus, you're all I need. And when you speak, a hundred billion galaxies are born. In the vapor of If the stars were made If the stars were made To worship so lie I can see your face I can Every burning star A signal fire of grace if the stars were made to worship, so will I. Good job, guys. Y'all can sit down. All right. So we have a very special guest today. She said she's not nervous at all. So we're going to give her a big applaud when I tell you who it is, okay? It's Miss Keelan Seeley from high school. Is this on? Okay. Like Mr. Steven said, I'm Keelan. I'm in high school. I'm a senior, so that means I'm in the 12th grade. And um, I'm a cheerleader at Rosemark, and I do lots of other fun stuff. And this is also something I'm very excited about. And y'all all just did such a good job singing. That was so pretty. Those are some of my favorite songs. So before we get started, how about we bow our heads and pray? Dear God, thank you so much for um, everyone in this room. Thank you for giving us the um, opportunity to worship you and to pray to you and um, to learn more about you and let us listen and um, hear what your word is saying this morning. Amen. 
Okay, so um, I'm going to be telling y'all the story of David and Goliath. How many of y'all have heard that story before? Lots of you. Okay, so I'm just going to refresh y'all's brains, I guess. But So um, David and Goliath is about when Israel was at war with the Philistines. And I'm going to need some helpers. So maybe some of the people over here. Who thinks they're really big and strong? You think you're really big and strong? Can you come help me out? Okay, um, can y'all help me? And Graham, you can come. If y'all don't know, Graham is my brother. So Graham, you can come. Okay, so y'all can come too, and on the front row. Can y'all come stand over here with me? Okay, so the Bible tells us that the Philistines occupied one hill. So you think you're bringing strong? Okay, you're going to be dealt. Okay, so you're going to be right here. Um, Nick, so y'all can come over here with him. Y'all can be the Philistines, and y'all can stay over here, and y'all can be the Israelites. Okay, which one of you wants to be David? You want to be David? Okay, Graham's David. I didn't plan on that to happen, but um, okay. So um, the Philistines um, occupied one hill, and the Israelites occupied the other, and there was a big valley in between them. And so a champion named Goliath, so Goliath, can you spout here for me? All right, Goliath was super big and strong. It says his height was six cubits and a span. So I don't really know what that means, but it was really, really big, really big. And he has a bronze helmet on, and he wore a coat of scale armor and bronze weighing 5,000 shekels. So he's a really strong man. And Goliath stood, and he shouted at the Israelites, and he said, why do you come out and line up for battle? I am not a Philistine, and are you not the servants of Saul? Choose a man and have him come down to me. If he is able to fight and kill me, we will become your subjects. But if I overcome him and kill him, you will become our subjects and serve us. So um, Goliath was saying that if you have a man, send him and fight me. See if he can defeat me. And so when the... Um, when the Philistines heard, when the Philistines said this, and the Israelites heard it, they were really scared. They were scared. They were dismayed and terrified. And so, out of all of them, David was the one that was chosen to fight. And um, David was um, David was Jesse's son, and he was his smallest son. He was the youngest. Uh, whenever the Israelites saw Goliath, who stood out from the lines of battle, that says that they all fled from him in great fear. So can you all pretend to flee from him in great fear? Like you all are really scared. There you go. They fled in great fear. Y'all can go back to your seats. Thank you. <laughs> and so then Saul got, Saul got David ready for battle, and he said, Go, and the Lord be with you. And so David, getting ready for battle, he took his staff in his hand and he chose five smooth stones from the stream and he put them in the pouch of his shepherd's bag and with a sling in his hand, he approached the Philistine. So, approached the Philistine. Okay. And, um, let me flip my page. David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet him, reaching into his bag and taking out a stone. He slung it and struck the Philistine on his on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead, and he fell face down on the ground. <laughs> so David, it's so funny. So David triumphed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. Without using a sword, he struck down the Philistine and killed him. Thank you very much. Can I get a round of applause for my helpers? Okay. All right. So how many of you have ever been scared or afraid? Have you all ever been scared before? You have some fears? Me too. I've been scared too. Well, the things that we're scared of are kind of like Goliath. They can kind of be like Goliath. And we need to remember that while God was with David fighting his battle with Goliath, David 
thought and he trusted in God. And we can trust in God too. We can trust him with our fears and our struggles and with anything that maybe scares us or we think that we can't do. And just like the songs are saying, nothing impossible for God. So all of your fears and everything, you can just trust in him. And um, sometimes we have fears and things that are too big for us. And we can kind of be like those Israelites. And we might want to run and hide. And we might be really scared. And we don't think that we can face Goliath. But just as David was the people's champion and he was the Israelites' champion and the fighter for all of them, David's great-great-grandson, Jesus, is our champion. And Jesus will fight for us. And he fought on the cross for us for the big battles that we can't face, like sin and death and lots of other really, really big, scary things. So this story of David and Goliath points to the good news of Jesus, who our champion is. Thank you very much. Can we pray one last time before we leave? Okay. Dear God, thank you so much for all that you've given us. Thank you for Jesus, your son, that you sent to fight our battles. Thank you for um, letting us trust in you and um, help us to remember that nothing is impossible for you, that you're powerful and mighty and capable of all things. Amen. Let's give her a big round of applause. Y'all think she did a good job? All right. Come pray us out. Come on. Okay, I'll pray us out. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll pray for you while I'm praying. Okay. Dear Jesus, we just want to thank you for this wonderful day that you've given us, Lord, that we could wake up and breathe the oxygen that you created. Lord, thank you for all that you're doing in our lives, and thank you for all that you're doing at TRA. We know that you're moving and you're working. Sometimes we don't see it, but we know you're there. And Lord, just give us all peace as we go throughout this week and keep us all safe from this sickness. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, so we're going to do 5K can go first today in fifth grade.